Hi, my name is Kelly and I'm one of the sports dietitians here at Virginia Tech and this is your sports nutrition tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about something called overnight oatmeal. And that's a term you've probably heard before. It's a really popular item in the news the past few years because it's a fun, easy, quick meal that you can really make your own. Um, to make overnight oatmeal, what you do is use equal parts rolled oats. So we have some just oatmeal here and then your liquid. If you use steel cut oats, you just have to add a little bit more liquid. Um, and then you can add really any toppings that you would like. So what I have here are both mine and Jenny's favorite overnight oatmeal recipes. And so mine is a chocolate banana peanut butter overnight oatmeal. And then Jenny does more of a vanilla flavored with, she's got some chia seeds and some blueberries in here for a little extra flavor um, and some color in there. But you can really use any of your favorite toppings. So um, here we've got some honey. If you want it a little sweeter, you can add coconut on top. Uh, you can do dried fruit, you can do fresh fruit. You can even add frozen fruit if you'd like to. And so what you wanna try and do is add a little bit of protein to this meal so that it's a little more balanced. And that's where the peanut butter um, and the milk come into play that are gonna add a few grams of protein to that meal. And if you guys remember from one of our first nutrition tips, we talked about peanut butter. Um, so here we have the natural Jeff peanut butter and this is gonna be free of your trans fats. So you wanna aim for a natural peanut butter. And then you wanna let your oatmeal sit for at least three hours, but preferably overnight. Um, and then it'll be ready to go in the morning. You can just grab it out of the fridge. Or if you prefer, you can make it in the morning and then you've got an afternoon snack ready for you when you get home. And that was your sports nutrition tip of the week. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Hokie Fuel.